Hello there, neighbor. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Armando, here to talk to you about treatment number four and how everything went and how everything is going so far. And uh, it, it was almost like treatment number three, to be honest. So treatment number four went very, very easy. I only had symptoms for for about a day and a half. And the system the the symptoms consisted of a like fogginess in my head and a slight nausea. And and it it was weird. This is weird because I was telling you guys it's a lot of it is mental and I truly honestly believe you know when it comes to chemotherapy and, and cancer in general it could be all mental you know there's a saying that one of my uh, favorite bodybuilders um, says his name's Kai Green he goes your mind could be your most powerful tool in your arsenal right of what you want to accomplish so I just put that to the test and and literally after day two, right after chemotherapy, whenever I had nausea, I would say to myself, no nausea, no nausea, no nausea for like a straight minute and then my nausea would go away. And that happened about, I think, three or four times within, within that given day. So I truly, truly and honestly believe it is all mental. It could be all mental because any single time that nausea came up I told myself no 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 and it went right away so it went away and I basically felt back back to normal about 80 percent and then because I had chemotherapy on Monday and then symptoms came on Tuesday and that Wednesday pretty much gone I probably like physically I felt about 80 percent I wasn't really fatigued, but I knew I wasn't wasn't 100, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I did, however, I did walk right after treatment. I did walk and eat right after chemotherapy on that Monday. So I walked for an hour and a half, and I ate a whole bunch of carbs, healthy carbs. And I think that helped me out a lot as well. But other than that, treatment's getting easier and easier. Um, they told me that treatment is going to get progressively harder and harder. And I truly don't believe that. And I'm telling myself it's not. It won't get harder. And actually, it will get easier. So I'm telling myself now in my head every morning and every night that the fifth treatment, I will have no symptoms. I'm telling myself that every day, every morning, every night, you know, I have it written on my board, conquer cancer, no symptoms, on fifth treatment. So, that's four down, five more to go. But other than that, my day-to-day -day life, it's actually going pretty well. I'm eating my meals. I cut out all junk food at the beginning of this year. I cut out all junk food because I was eating a lot of junk food and my, uh, my blood pressure was actually really high. Um, I'm an advocate on pizza eating. <laughs> So I have a lot of frozen pizzas and I I eat them almost every day or every other day. So I cut pizzas out and I, I went to my regular diet which was like chicken, uh, brown rice or uh, sweet potato and maybe some green beans or broccoli here and there. So I'm eating that three times a day and consistently eating it uh, with little you know sub meals here and there like I'll sub out one of my regular meals for like uh, eggs with uh, some tortillas or something. So you get tortilla, put the egg, hot sauce, you're good. <laughs> but that's basically what I'm eating on a day-to-day -day basis now. And I'm also doing this fasting thing where, um, where you eat in an eight hour time frame and then you stop eating at a given time for 16 hours and then you eat again for those eight hours and then fast for 16 hours and eat again for eight hours. Just on and on and on, I'm doing that again. 
or not again, but I'm starting it. And it's actually going uh, going pretty well. I actually lost like five pounds, and my blood pressure actually went down a little bit because my blood pressure was high. I think last time they checked that it was like 150 over 80, which is really high. And yesterday when I had the spinal appointment, um, they clocked it in at 131 over 65, which is really good. So fasting diet works. So my doctors were okay with it. They're, they just told me make sure the calories that you eat in a given day, you eat in that time frame. So I was like, yeah, it's no problem for me. So fasting, if you guys ever want to try it, it works. <laughs> Now, I'm not for sure if I'm gonna get a six pack out of it. I'm hoping, cross my fingers, that would be pretty damn cool. I am consistently working out every day. But uh, I feel like I'm just going on a little rant here. <laughs> but that is about it. Uh, spinal appointment was yesterday. Everything went fine without a hitch. Um, it was just a smooth process all the way through. Maybe like a slight little pinch here, but wasn't major. Um, after that, laid down for two hours, had maybe a little bit of a headache here, pretty much gone. And also, one other thing, as you can see, my eyebrows are pretty much going away, so that kind of sucks. And then my hair is pretty much um, gone. I have like these baby hairs, but they said that's going to be staying for probably throughout treatment. But I can't wait until after treatment, my hair is going to come back. I'm going to be taking vitamin B, B12, drinking a whole shit ton of water. I mean, I'm already drinking water. I got like this half a gallon thing I'm drinking on a daily basis, twice a day. And uh, yeah, so really can't wait to get back to the gym after this treatment. If you guys are following me throughout this journey, hopefully you see the, this progression from my lowest to low to my highest of high. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. Keep it positive. Have a good day. And be fit. <laughs>